What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to the Tragically Hip, yes indeed, Tragically Hip fans, feeling you! Come on now! Here we go. This is a request from Los Del. Los Del wanted to see me react to this song by the Tragically Hip called Fiddler's Green. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I've never heard the song before. This does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there is always a chance I may have heard the song before, and I just don't know it. So, as always, if I start listening to the song and I go, Oh, yeah, I've heard this before, I'll let you know. That's the truth! You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by the Tragically Hip. Okay, I've been... I've been pretty good with them. Uh, I think they blocked one of my videos once, but we were able to resolve it. So I, I think I think we're gonna be okay. And the video has 2.7 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. The Tragically Hip, Fiddler's Green, live in Abbotsford. All right, nothing more to say. Let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to do a song now. We don't do it too often, but we've been doing it a fair amount lately. Probably just because it's time. A song that used to kind of be painful to play is now not as painful to play because maybe it helps some people. Without being too presumptuous, we bring you Fiddler's Green. almost a I'm not saying it is but it, it almost has like a country feel to it almost like between the acoustic playing the pattern that it's playing by the way um that right hand of his I love how he's able to he strums and he's able to do those pick up notes that do 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 he just he, his his picking on that is almost non-existent like you don't even really see his hand move it just Boo -doo -doo. And then I'm guessing it's because it's it's all hammer on, but you know the initial hit has got to be there, and it sounds like it's moving up to the next string. So dude, he's got to do two pickings for that pickup, but you don't see the hand move like hardly at all. So great discipline on his part, not overplaying or overusing using too much movement and motion in the hand. Another reason I'm saying this is kind of kind of a country feel to it is. Uh, in the lead singer's voice, he's got that laid back, like almost a southern drawl to it. Like it, it's got that that swagger, that feel of just being really laid back, and it, it's it's a great it's a great feel. It's a great sound. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just I'm just noting when I'm noticing it. It sounds almost country, almost not quite, but almost. <laughs> Let's keep going. Nice. 
twice. standard E tuning, right? Okay, so he's in standard E tuning, but it sounds like he, I don't think, I don't know if he's in standard tuning. Um, yeah, he's in E. It is tuned to E, but I get the feeling he's got an odd tuning in. And the reason I'm, the reason I'm saying he's got an odd tuning for his guitar, I, I don't think it's what I mean by an odd tuning is usually standard tuning for a guitar, starting from the lowest string, the, the heaviest string, E, A, D, G, B, E. It's force all the way to the B string. The B string is a third, and then the third goes back to the fourth for the E. That's standard guitar tuning. When he's doing that bar harmonic, he, he a bar harmonic, he's, he's using his finger to go across all the strings across a, a single fret and he's strumming against the uh, the strings but without laying his finger directly and pressing on the string to get the note he's hovering above the string letting the string resonate and then he touches the string lightly to get a harmonic sound uh he's doing that across several strings that's what's called a bar harmonic it's 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 several strings being harmonicized um it's resonating on a major chord. Unless it's the G, B, and E, which actually... No, but that would be a minor chord. It'd be an inverted third. Uh, minor, But it'd still be a minor third. So e, G, how does he get in the major? G, B, D... Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. If he went D, G, B, that'd be a major third. Okay, so maybe he's just hitting those three. Okay, never mind, I think... I just figured it out. So he's doing that barred harmonic. It's he's hitting the he's only hitting the D, the G, and the B, which would turn out to be a inverted uh, D, G major no D major chord. Yes. Yeah. No. Inverted G major chord. My apologies. <sighs> Having a slow day today. So it'd be an inverted G major chord. Okay. Never mind, I just figured it out. So it's not strange tuning, it's not odd tuning. He's he's tuned to standard. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Let's keep going. Oh, nice use of mallets. There's nowhere that he's really been But he won't travel long Alone Not in Fiddler's Green Balloons are filled with rain His children's eyes turn 
nice switch. Right here, I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Uh, no, I don't wanna hear it. No, I don't. hey, I don't wanna hear it. You can play the pinholes all you want, I don't care. Look, I love it when drummers are inventive. I love it when drummers do things that people don't expect. Um, he's got the shaker in the right hand, he's got the soft tip mallet in the other. Now, watch what he does. He's playing with the soft tip mallet, he's playing with the head of the mallet right now, getting a nice soft, uh, relaxed impact on the heads of the drums and on the cymbal. But watch what he does. This is cool. This is really cool. I wish more drummers would do stuff like this. Right there. He switched it. Now he's using the back end of the mallet as an actual drumstick to get a little more of an accent on the impact, a little more accent, a little, a little harder strike on the uh, on the heads of the drums now that is so smart i wish more drummers would do stuff like that very very cool anyway let, let's keep going here and he switched back <laughs> Good song, really good. I, he was talking at the beginning about it being really painful. I don't know the significance of the song. I wish I knew. I wish I could. I wish I had that in context. But I went into this blind, like I do all my reactions. So, I, I have no idea about the context of the song. But the song itself, really well done, really well done. So, we'll talk about it in the review. I promise. Well, there you go, folks. That was the Tragically Hip with Fiddler's Green. This was a request from Los Del. All right, on a scale of one to 10, I am gonna give that a 7.7. .7. Yep, 7.7. .7. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, um. Lots of good stuff happening. Lots of good stuff happening in here. Um, let's start off with, let's start with the drumming. Let's start with the drumming, why not? Um, very stripped down for a song like this that makes perfect sense. But even more stripped down than normal. Like, no kick, no snare. Um, there was hi-hat. He was using hi-hat to keep the tempo going. The steady, the steady tempo. Um, utilizing the shaker. Uh, utilizing those, um, uh, I forgot what those drums are called. Uh, I want to say timpaninis, not, not, not timpani. It, it, they're way too small for timpani. No, I, I think, I think they're called timpaninis. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look it up. I'm not sure what those drums are called, but using those drums really cool in place of toms, which I thought was really smart. Um, he had that one cymbal over there. I believe that was a crash uh, for just to add some color. Using the mallet, using both ends of the mallet to get different accents and different feel out of every strike, which I thought was really smart. I wish more drummers would do that. Um, I'm not sure... He was using his left hand for the shaker. He had the shaker up right by the microphone, right? I'm not sure if he was utilizing his elbow or not to press on the head of that one of the one percussion instrument. When you do that, whenever you use your elbow or use your hand or a finger and you press on the head, it changes the pitch of the drum head. It can raise it and you know when you when you push down it, the more pressure you put on it, the higher in pitch it goes. Obviously, you don't want to push too hard and break the head, but I see a lot of people do that with congas. I see a lot of people do that with uh, heavy toms, uh, you know, or, or larger toms. So using on that kind of an instrument, I would have no problem with. I just, I wonder if he was doing it. I couldn't tell. The way his elbow was positioned, it looked like he was actually doing it. If I'm not, the angle we had, it wasn't the best angle. I, I didn't actually see the elbow on the head with him pressing on it, but it wouldn't shock me if he was doing that. Again, very smart. Utilizing the single drum and getting the most out of it that you possibly can. Why not? Why not do something like that? 
Um, very tasteful drumming. Really dug the drumming on this. Guitar playing. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, really nice touch on that acoustic. Really nice touch. And what I think impressed me the most was his right hand's discipline. Never over moving. Not moving so much. Not moving, you know, in the this big sweeping motion that a lot of people do. Very disciplined, all wrist, really, uh, when it came to his playing. He, was, he really kind of kept it just in the wrist, um, especially with those pickup notes. A lot of people would overplay, you know, and try to get the most out of those pickup notes. Not this guy. He just he laid back. He relaxed. He let the pick and the strings do the work, not the hand, not the arm. He just, you know, do, 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 and just, ba, da, da, just feathered it really nicely. Uh, I like that bar harmonic, too, that he was doing. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I figured it out, uh, barring just the D, B, and uh, G strings. That Well, it'd be D, G, B strings to get that inverted uh, G major chord, which was really cool. The, the fifth was the bottom on, on, the, on the D. Um, really cool, though. Really nice, really nice harmonic. It's, it rang through clear as a bell. So really nice job doing the harmonics in the first place. Vocally, uh, I liked this song from a vocal standpoint. Uh, what he was doing sounded really good. Like I said earlier, almost, not quite, but almost like a country feel to it, to what he was singing vocally. Having that twang in his voice and that laid back feel, especially on the, uh, on the endings of the phrases, uh, where he would like almost into a triplet feel. Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da. You know, just like that. You know, it it just added more depth to the feel of what he was singing. And like I said, it, it really kind of gave it that country feel. Now, I'm not saying the song was country, not by any stretch. I'm not saying it was. I'm just saying it had that feel. And a lot of it was attributed to how, not what he was singing, but how he was singing it, his style. So it was really cool. I'm not even a country fan, and I, I, I dug it. Now, overall, I really dug the song. Um, not usually my cup of tea, but I would listen to this again. I would. I, I could actually see myself listening to this again, if I'm being completely honest here. Uh, I wasn't turned off by it. It was not displeasing. I enjoyed it, and I would absolutely give this another listen, sure. Uh, in the comments, uh, I know people are probably going to do it anyway, but I just like to pre-fame people so I don't accidentally you know leave anything out he was talking to me beginning about how the song was painful and he, they never really did it but maybe now it's time and you know he, they've been doing it more often now and it's, you know maybe it's for healing what is this song about you know I, I don't understand the context of what he was talking about so I'm sure I got a lot of Canadian listeners out there hey Canadian fans feeling you I am absolutely feeling you guys um, if you guys could do me a favor just let me know in the comments what the song is about. I'd really appreciate it because I'd like to know. I'd like to be informed. Uh, no, but overall, really good song. Really good song, and that's why it's getting this, a really good score of 7.7. .7. Now, if you're not 100% sure if that's a really good score or not, I got a solution for you. Go down into the uh, description of this video, and you will find my scoring chart, and you will clearly see... 7.0 to 7.9. That's the range for really good. This is a 7.7. .7. It's up there. It's up there in the really goods. So this was not a bad song by any stretch. And that's why it's getting the 7.7. .7. A really good score for a really good song. So 7.7, .7, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you'll enjoy the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. 
Later. Peace.